What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and as all of you know by now Rainbow Six Extraction launched yesterday therefore today I'd like to take some time talk about some of the feedback you've sent the channel a few of the things we've seen online and my thoughts on the game as well. Now if you happen to be new here first of all welcome secondly feel free to hit that subscribe or join button we would love for you to be a part of our gaming family and if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all do me a favor and hit that like button it really does help us out. Finally, as most of you know, we have giveaways here. Our current one is for an Xbox Series S. To enter, all you need to do is subscribe here or follow us on Twitter, and the winner will be announced on April 4th of this year. Now, for those of you that may be new here, I'd like to mention a few things really quick. First of all, I always try to give a fair and balanced assessment of a game, regardless of my own personal gameplay. And secondly, your feedback here is what makes this channel work, so my friends, if there are any issues you're having in-game that I do not mention here, please please let me know in the comments section down below and I'll try to get you answers as quick as I can. Now in full transparency, I had no intention of even playing this game. It wasn't on my radar. I'm looking forward to other things that are coming out pretty soon. And you know, I'm not really a first person shooter player. But with that being said, I happen to be having so much fun playing this game. I'm completely addicted in getting my operators leveled up as fast as possible. And I think one of the main reasons I may be enjoying it so much is that I never really had a preconceived notion of what the game was going to be before I started it and therefore I wasn't really let down in any way you know what I mean I'm enjoying the gameplay I'm enjoying the graphics I'm having a lot of fun with it now I've heard a lot of things online in regards to some negative aspects people are having issues so I do want to touch base on some of those right now so the first thing I want to go over has to do with connection issues and there are two main issues you either are getting booted off when you're playing or in this case as you can see you cannot connect to the server whatsoever and unfortunately this happens to be an issue that is affecting gamers on all platforms now thankfully the game is well aware a lot of people are having server issues you know it is the first day so obviously they know they're going to have problems here and there and as soon as they give us any tangible information on any fixes they're going to implement I will definitely pass them along Another issue gamers are having is that they will randomly lose server connection in the middle of their gameplay, which totally sucks. I mean, this happened to me, you'll see here in a little bit, I'm on my first objective now on this mission or on this map, whatever you want to call it. And then when I get to my third objective, I'm just cruising along and all of a sudden I just get booted from the game. Now the good thing is that when that took place, I was sent back to the lobby. My character was an MIA. So usually in this game, if you lose connection or something happens, your character can go MIA or you lose XP. Now that didn't happen. However, all of the progress that I did complete on this actual mission was gone. So it was like I just had to completely and totally start over. So I had to re-extract or excuse me, I had to go rescue, then re-extract my missing operative again. So it was a little bit of a pain, but thankfully I didn't lose any actual XP. Now on the flip side of that coin, I've also learned two other things over the last day. I've learned that sometimes your character can go MIA if you lose server connection. And I've also learned that if you happen to be in a group when you lose server connection, you can actually be penalized when you get back to the game itself. So to give you a quick example, this happened to me yesterday. I was in a group using random matchmaking. We were cruising along and once again, unfortunately, I lost server connection. When I logged back in, there was a notification on the top of the screen saying that I'd lost the privilege of using any matchmaking for five minutes and that I bailed on my squad. Now, I didn't bail on my squad. I got kicked out, then I got penalized, so that kind of sucks. So hopefully that's something they're going to fix as well. And one thing I want to make sure I mention as we move on is that has only happened to me a handful of times. So like 95% of my gameplay on this game has been absolutely perfect. Like I said before, I'm having so much fun. I'm loving this thing, but I do want to let you know what's going on. That way you can make your own informed decision. Next, my friends, I'd like to talk about matchmaking, and the matchmaking system does work really well. I've had no problems joining a group at all. However, the one thing I've encountered is that you cannot choose the difficulty that you want to actually play on when you're using matchmaking itself. You're going to be joining a group, and whatever the leader is, whatever difficulty they are, that's the difficulty you're going to be playing as soon as you jump into the action. Now there is a chance when you use random matchmaking that people can actually be joined to your group. That way you're totally driving the ship. You can control what's going on. And I understand one of the reasons why they don't want people to bail because it does throw off the gameplay. And as I said earlier, once you're in a group and you randomly log out, or in my case, you know, I lost connection to the server. If one of those things happen, what happens then is your character, you not only get that penalty that I talked about, but then your character is MIA, which totally sucks because then you have to obviously go and extract with them and all that. But, you know, overall, the matchmaking system does seem to be good. It just needs a few tweaks here and there. 
Moving on, my friends, I'd now like to address one of the most commonly asked questions I'm getting at the channel, which is, can this be a game for solo players? And the answer is absolutely yes. Now, the game wants you to play in a group, obviously, but for solo players, this is something you can definitely play on your own. And I can use myself as an example. I got to milestone 18 completely playing solo, just doing moderate and cautious difficulty. And since I'm really new to first-person shooters or haven't really played one in a while, it gave me a time to not only learn the map, but learn the weapons, the movements, so again, I had a lot of fun playing. And as I start to wrap this video up, I know that the community right now is really split down the middle in regards to whether they want to even try this game or not. I know a lot of people that already hate the game and they haven't even played it. Now, one thing I've heard, and I've heard this from people who had no intention of playing the game, because they could actually have access to it on Xbox Game Pass, they gave it a shot and they absolutely love it. So again, my friends, if you have the ability to try it, I say go for it, which actually brings me to the buddy system. And as most of you know, one of the things things the game was going to implement at launch was something called the buddy pass system where anyone who owned the game could share a code that the person then could use for two weeks now they have delayed that I do not know when it's going to be implemented but as soon as I do I will definitely pass it along some of you have also reached out to the channel asking if I will do like a beginner's guide, something with tips and tricks for new players. It is something I'm going to work on over the weekend. I'll bring it to you next week. And in regards to news, this is something I'm going to do on a weekly basis. So I always can keep you informed of anything that's going on, any changes or fixes that should be coming to the game. With all that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this thing up. However, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, if there are any issues you're having in game that I did not mention in this video, please let me know in the comments section down below. As I said earlier, my main goal here is to try to help out in any way I can. And if I can try to get you answers, I definitely will. I'd also like to take a moment as always and thank you all for your incredible support of this game. And you know, I'm willing to give this game a shot. Again, it's two days old. I'm having fun. We'll see what the progression is like over the next few weeks. We'll see what improvements they make. We'll see what's going on. But so far, like I said, I'm really enjoying it. On that note, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. However, as I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. We would love for you to be a part of what we're doing. If you you enjoyed this do me a favor hit that like button as well but most importantly take care of yourselves be kind to each other and we will talk to you soon thanks again everyone if you're having trouble locating the objective try a recon tool Let there be sight. Ready to make the hard choices. Environmental artifacts are manifesting. Everyone here on the Pioneer could use some new intel. We're not giving up. 